what will we do if we lose at the presidential election tribunal? Labour Party Policy Secretary says. Wow. So what will they do? I know that Labour Party has multiple plans, both short term and long term. And they are not unfolding their plans easily. And that is what is keeping both INEC Tribunal and APC government confused. Because they don't know what Peter B will do next. They are just, you know, they can't predict him. They took it for granted for the beginning of the campaign through elections. And now he has appeared to be different from what they, they thought. And the guy is still strong. Even throughout the tribunal proceedings, he has shown his strength. Okay. And Nigeria, Nigerian people don't know, especially the APC people, don't know what to do. They are confused. Now, Labour Party is still saying that they will not just fold their arms if they lose, they will still do something. Okay. As Nigerians await the verdict of the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal in bated bread, the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Mr. Obio Raifo, says victory was sure, going by the tons of evidence tendered in court to knock out the All Progressive Congress. In an exclusive interview with Sunday Sun, the Labour Party spokesman, Mr. Ifo, said that the party would take its case to the highest court in the land and the Supreme Court in the event it loses at the uh, at the petition tribunal. He also spoke about the expectations of the party in the coming weeks about, about it and other issues playing out in Nigeria's political space. How can you assess the tribunal proceedings thus far? Are you still optimistic that justice will be served? And this is the question put to Ifo. And Ifo said, yes, we are very optimistic that justice will be served. Having proven our case beyond all reasonable doubt according to our own explanation, and we think that the tribunal will do the needful. And then another question came, how would you react to the postponement of judgment? What are your expectations? The judgment was not postponed. It is in line with what they said that after doing all the documentations that they would fix a date for judgment. So it is in line. They just said they would have a date for the judgment, which is the normal thing. The VC of Bayes University, owned by Dati Peter B's running mate, Professor Tahe Maman, has been nominated for a ministerial position by Tinubu. Is this not a gradual weakening of Labour Party as Tinubu goes after members? How can you react to this? He is not a member of Labour Party. Not all the staff of Bayes University are members of Labour Party. So anybody can be nominated. And that he is working for our vice presidential candidate does not make him a Labour Party member. And we wish him all the best. And that is perfect. I love to hear that. Okay, but don't you think it is a good way gesture to your vice presidential candidate? We are only interested in the Labour Party members. We have said that no Labour Party members will take any appointment with this government because it is an illegal government. We don't believe in this government until the final determination of the tribunal, and that is what we are awaiting. And so far, there has been total compliance by our members. So the man that is in that uh, that has been nominated is not a member of Labour Party. That is the truth, and that is what is clear here. So many individuals think that Labour Party members at the National Assembly are not doing enough to raise the voices of common Nigerians and to ask the challenging questions, particularly during the ministerial screening. What are you? What are your thoughts on this? So, and then he responded, "When you watch the proceedings in the Senate carefully." Many people will raise their hands until the presiding officer asks you to talk. You cannot just jump up and talk. And unfortunately, most of our members have not been given the opportunity to speak. But I can tell you that if they are given the opportunity to speak, they will point out one or two things. But then, those things are not really important to us now. What is important to Labour Party is to regain our mandate. And that is what we are focused on. Our members, we elected them, and they are very good personalities, and they know what to do. Hmm. And they know what to do. And then the another question came to a fore. 
would you say your members in the National Assembly are meeting expectations? So, and then he answered, for now, they are doing exactly what they are expected to do. But if they are given the freedom to speak, I am sure most of them will speak the mind of the party. We don't have any problem with all our members. They are doing very well and they cannot be lawless. They cannot force themselves to speak. They must be recognized. If they are watching the television, you will, if you are watching television, you will see many of them raising their hands, but it is to the presiding officer's power to decide who to give the opportunity to contribute on the floor of the Senate. And then the last question came, while we are being optimistic about your chances at the tribunal, okay, it could also go the other way. So what is next for the Labour Party in the event it loses? Of course, we are not going to lose. We are very sure that we are going to win. But then the tribunal is not the last court. There is also the Supreme Court. But we know we are going to we are not going to lose. That is exactly what Obi Refo is saying. And I think it is from this point that the title of this message is taken that they will not fold their arms when the if they lose at the tribunal, they will take it to the highest court in the land. And they have chosen to go to court and they will follow the court process to the end of it. No going back. Of course, every the whole Nigerians have seen that with the amount of evidence that have been provided and with the way the court proceeding has gone, the Labour Party had the strongest case and had the strongest chance to win. And I know that the Tinubu and APC is trying to influence the tribunal. Just as we heard that about six man committee of APC politicians have been put together to influence the outcome of the judgment, but that is not going to work because it openly we've seen the judgment from beginning to the end of it. And I mean the proceedings from the beginning to the end of it, and everybody knows what is expected. The best of it is to declare it to be winner, and the worst of it is to declare a run of election and not to sustain Tinubu's victory because Tinubu, first of all, did not win. INEC did not have good result to declare Tinubu winner. And right now, all INEC information in the portal it are unreliable and cannot be used to determine a winner. That is how bad it is. Now, there are a few comments here. Uh, the PEPT has time frame for the judgment. There is no reason for people to doubt that their judgment will be based on valid evidence and legal provisions for election. Okay. Yeah, we know they have time timelines. We are waiting for that timeline to expire and let's see what they have to say. The case is dead on arrival. The noisemakers should go on with their propaganda. This must be somebody from APC. Don't worry. It's until the judgment is over, it is not over until it is over. Somebody said tons of evidence. True, but blank papers will not give victory to any party. It can only indict INEC and cancel the election. And that is what we're saying, that the worst that can happen is the election is cancelled and then a re rerun is, is ordered and that then we do it again. Okay? But what we're saying is that that shouldn't be under the leadership of the current INEC chairman because he, we know, is already very corrupt and perverse and that is somebody that is pro-APC in office. Another is asked, saying here, confession time. All of you planning for a rerun without Tinubu on ballot. She Onado here from one of Onaga after Supreme Court not to go to, you know, report for Igodo Forest, the land of the dead. <laughs> not really. So these people are still believing that Tinubu won and, and he will sustain. Now he will not sustain. He will not sustain at all. He will not sustain. Okay, so the fact remains that if the tribunal provides the judgment that is not in favor that is not in favor of the Labour Party, Labour Party will definitely appeal it and will go to the highest level of the court in the land, and that is Supreme Court. Okay, but I know that Tinubu is already troubled. Everybody has seen the way the case is going, and has observed that definitely Labour Party has the strongest hand over seventy five percent. Um, success rate in that proceedings and definitely we either be declared a winner. I know because Tinubu is in, in power, the tribunal may not declare Peter be a winner simply because one, Tinubu is trying to influence the outcome and two, the documents that INEC has in its portal as an election result are very, very 
or reliable and are not consistent and that cannot be used to declare a winner. And so the best option will be to order a rerun. And in ordering that rerun, APC is already preparing for that. And that's why they're saying that the rerun should be between themselves and, and Atiku and not Peter Obi. And that is not going to work. All the parties that have case in court will be part of that rerun. That is pure and simple. They cannot exclude Peter B from the rerun. They don't have basis for that. They don't have legal standing for that at all. So that is what the Labour Party is saying. And, uh, and we await the tribunal judgment to come. Thank you for listening and let's have your comment.